hit. Security is shutting off. One more time. One more time. Focus. Focus.
made it out. I'm clear. I'm clear. Hello, hello. DedSec needs your help. Got it. the filament admin terminal from your optic interface, you'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry. Channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their M.O. What are you talking about? I want dead set gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. That central server is Filament's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. Oh, oh. 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 
seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. Pardon me? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. Anyone have a suggestion? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. These doors are sealed until you take out the microwave drones. Anyone have a suggestion? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion, but Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. Ah oh, yes. Unplug it and plug it back in again. Got it. Close enough.
so long I've given her a name. I'd like you to meet Ada. Would you mind killing her? Bugger off, you clinging little bastard. No, I am not your new daddy. This microwave drone is starting to be a real problem over here. Would you look at this? A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Centex. It ricochets through a dozen cell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to Juan Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. Please stop this microwave drone.
Please stop this microwave drone. Ready to go. About bloody time. This isn't a picnic and I haven't got any jam. Clinging little bastard. No, I am not your new daddy. Well, this
This one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bombs were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I try to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable I'm motion sick. SRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the secretary. Please stop this microwave drone. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail? And that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. Straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little sites you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Engaging hostile targets. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central core to complete the cycle. Well done, Bagley. Now let's get this scheming little bastard. With pleasure. Engaging hostile targets. That's enough of that. for now. I'm fully 
integrated with filament, and it seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. Do it. All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right. Wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh, look. Seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh, no, it worked. Oi! What the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly under pressure. What now? I sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the GBB to the Aberystwyth Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear Deadsec's name. At least for this particular thing. And Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. Ooh, great! Let's just send that car hurriedly into a brick wall or some kind of car crushing machine. Believe me, I'd love to, but he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow!